This is Big Island Video News for Tuesday, April 2nd, 2013. I'm Stephanie Salazar. An April Fool's Day prank that played out over Hawaii Island airwaves prompted 911 calls and an official message from the county's Civil Defense Agency on Monday. Police declare that on Monday, April 1st, a local radio station falsely reported on its website that Saddle Road was closed at the 28-mile marker due to a lava flow. Police confirmed the false report was an April Fool's Day prank. Civil Defense said the same in an alert message to the media. The culprit? Native FM morning DJ Gumby, who in 2012 was voted East Hawaii's best radio personality by readers of the Hawaii Tribune Herald. Native FM removed the joke from the internet. Gumby later issued an apology on the station's Facebook page. He wrote that it was irresponsible and inappropriate to put that. He vowed that from this day forward, no more April Fool's jokes. Hawaii's warning siren did sound at the regular noontime, but it had nothing to do with any April Fool's joke. It was part of the monthly test of the statewide outdoor siren warning system, normally conducted on the first working day of the month in cooperation with Hawaii's broadcast industry. New vehicle entry fees for non-residents and tour vehicles visiting Hapuna Beach State Recreation Area were collected for the first time on Monday. The Department of Land and Natural Resources Division of State Parks is contracting with a private company, Republic Parking, to handle the new policy. Non-resident vehicles will now be charged $5. Commercial tours will have to pay according to the number of passengers, which will range from $10 to $40. It, the fees are only being collected from non-residents, and visitors are happy to pay and they really enjoy the park here. You're gonna have a lot of different opinions and they're all valid and, and uh, a lot of us are used to this and even in our own states for paying for parking and, and here the state residents don't pay, our taxes already go toward it, so it's, it's, it should be a win-win. The fee is expected to bring in about $16,000 per month. The state spends nearly $720,000 a year to operate the beach park. About $460,000 goes to the county for contracted lifeguard services. Residents don't seem to mind the new fee, but they did say they would like to see the money go towards park maintenance. Yeah, the bathrooms. Need, need the bathrooms fixed and uh, probably uh, keep the, sh the showers going, you know. The showers are always breaking down and keep the place clean. On Monday, Hawaii County opened new public bathrooms at Reeds Bay Beach Park in Hilo. A ceremony was held to bless the hollow tile comfort station, accessible walkways, and new landscaping that complete the $1.5 million improvement project in the hopes of maintaining a safe, inviting, and family-friendly recreational facility. Isimoto Contracting Company Limited built the bathrooms and related improvements, while landscape architecture firm Leonard Bissell Associates LLC designed the upgrades. Also unique to Reeds Bay Beach Park, a paddleboard washing station to accommodate the rapidly growing sport of stand-up paddleboarding. The Hawaii State Senate recognized and commemorated the 20th anniversary of the W.M. Keck Observatory located on the summit of Mauna Kea during its floor session on Monday. The twin dome Keck 1 and Keck 2 have been exploring the universe for two full decades. Keck 1's first science observations took place in 1993, while Keck 2's took place in 1996. Under Hawaii's dark skies, astronomers at Keck Observatory have accomplished many discoveries over the past two decades. Like a Hawaiian navigator who holds a vast knowledge of the stars to guide them to their destination, the astronomers continue to use their boundless knowledge of the universe to guide us into the future. To Kupono! Kupono McDaniel is the winner of the King Kalakaua Beard and Lookalike Contest, held Monday evening in Hilo, part of the official Merry Monarch Week festivities. The supervisory ranger at the National Park Service takes $600 in cash and prizes for his superbly cultivated whiskers, done in the style of King David Kalakaua, the Merry Monarch himself. And how long have you had this? I've had a beard since high school, but uh 
I had a goatee. I had the reverse until about January. The first such contest took place in 1964, but in recent years it's been in hiatus. It was resurrected to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Hilo's renowned hula festival. More than 20 contestants signed up to have their beards judged. One was 79-year-old Adam Quinores, who won three times in the 1960s. Tell us what it was like back then. Good fun. Good fun. Good fun. Drink like hell. Oh! This year, he brought his son along for the contest. Like father, like son. Adam took third place honors. Each of the contestants got a $50 gift certificate from HPM just for participating. This is Big Island Video News for Tuesday, April 2nd, 2013. I'm Stephanie Salazar.